I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm Miss, what's your name? Uh, my name is Kathy Herstich. Mm -hmm. Where are you I, from, Kathy? I'm from Ireland originally, uh -huh. but I'm married and living here in Medjugorje for nearly 30 years now. 30 years, that's mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. And when did you hear the first time? Let's say also the first time about Medjugorje. Why, why did you come to Medjugorje? Um, I actually ended up coming during the war, mm -hmm. the war years in 1993. Mm -hmm. And then it really changed my life because it was a very difficult situation in Medjugorje. Mm -hmm. But I came here and I saw the faith of the local people. Mm -hmm. And that inspired me of how people could have faith in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that kind of symbolizes what's going on in the world. How are we going to have faith now in a bad situation that we're in in the world? Mm -hmm. So people of faith really inspire us that it's all about God and his kingdom. And he wants us to change the world. He wants us to find peace and love in this world. And Our Lady, as a mother, is encouraging us mm -hmm. to do that all the time, to go the way of peace and love. But we can't do that without forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So we must Amazing. learn forgiveness. And you got married here, you stayed here, and you live here 30 years now in Medjugorje, right? So I'm very blessed to be here. Uh -huh. I'm trying to listen to Our Lady, uh -huh. trying to live her messages. Uh -huh. But recently, she seems disappointed that um, the power of evil is stronger in the world, so she's disappointed in our response maybe to the messages. So maybe we've listened to the messages, mm -hmm. but we haven't given our will to live the messages in a strong way. And so comes in, you said you, you learned about the divine will by Luisa Picaretta. Did you, how did you hear about Luisa Picaretta for the first time in your life? So about seven years ago, mm -hmm. um, there's a person called uh, Tony Hickey who teaches about divine will mm -hmm. and I met him here in Medjugorje, he gave a retreat mm -hmm. and that was the first time I came across the teachings of Louisa Picaretta mm -hmm. and they really helped me understand. Why? What happened? Well, because Our Lady is Queen of Peace here mm -hmm. and all the saints in the church have mm -hmm. taught us that there is no peace without, sur without good doing God's will, surrendering our will to the will of God, mm -hmm. but this has to be the center of our lives. So I never realized that I should focus on that, that this would give me real direction. And this has really helped me to live the messages more because I don't get caught up in the feelings and the emotion. I just do what Our Lady is calling me to do, and you know, out of obedience. Yeah. And how, you know, somebody who doesn't know about it, how does it practically work to live in the divine world? What would you tell a person? How, how do you I live in the divine world? I want to know, I want to do it It's too. so simple if yeah. we understand that we're, we're called to live this way, you know, thy will be done. So God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we know many things about God, mm -hmm. but what is the center of all our problems? And it's the will. Mm -hmm. And the will comes from our love of God. Mm -hmm. So this lady, Louisa Picareca, she's a servant of God and um, she's teaching us the importance of the church. We can't say we love Jesus if we don't love the body of Christ, which is the church, and which is the institution of the church, which is the sacraments, which is our priests, which is our Holy Father, that they give us spiritual direction in the world. So Our Lady is calling us to obedience to church teaching, to reciting the rosary, going to mass, going to confession, in Divine Will, it actually says you can't call yourself a Catholic if you don't go to confession because without the forgiveness of sins, we can't live in a state of grace. We can't get the peace that God wants to give us because our sins keep us away from God. So this is resolved through the sacrament of confession and Louisa confirms exactly the same thing. So all our saints and mystics and Our Lady, they're conf confirming the same truth. We just have to live it. But the problem of living it is in the will that, you know, we have to have enough love of God and love of Our Lady, not just to listen to her, but actually to do what she's asking us to do. And you're right. I think you only can do it if you have really a personal relationship, experience, the love of God and of Our Lady, no? Because the, somebody you, who you love, you don't want to hurt. And also Our Lady said, you can't give peace to somebody else if you don't have it yourself. So our own conversion is about First of all, if we don't love God enough, we won't be able to love others, you know? So it's about that love and peace. And, and if we don't have peace with God through reconciliation, we won't be able to have peace with our fellow man. Absolutely. And what, by living in the divine day, what changed in your life personally? Um, focus and direction mm -hmm. and uh, concentrating on this, it really helped me. It really mm -hmm. centralized things and got me moving. 
in the past where uh, I seemed to be very confused. Mm -hmm. But this gave me real direction and something to aim for. Mm -hmm. And um, I would say that I found a lot more peace in my own soul since... Um, Life became simpler also? Yeah, so in Michigan we have the Franciscans, so it's mm -hmm. always about the Franciscan way of simplicity and um, detachment from everything. And humility, no? And humility. But humility comes from detachment from everything, just to rely on God, to have that trust, also that trust in God. Mm -hmm. So peace comes from trust. And really knowing God, if we don't know who God is, we don't have an understanding of God, we won't be able to trust Him. Mm -hmm. And how would you tell people how can they experience God? So another thing that uh, Divine Will seems to be revealing is the importance of adoration. Adoration is getting to know Jesus, spending that time. So many people in Divine Will would say it was true adoration that they came to know of these teachings. Mm -hmm. So that quiet time mm -hmm. listening to God seems to be very important. Mm -hmm. So of course confession and Mass and praying the Rosary, but adoration seems to be essential in bringing us to that inner inner sanctuary, you know, thinking, you know, concentrating on ourselves and our own conversion and getting away from the world, getting away from other people and just Jesus is there and that inner peace. Mm -hmm. So we must be at ease with, you know, with that inner peace for the love to come into our soul mm -hmm. and that reconciliation with God, which is really important. Mm -hmm. And you said that the divine bill is related to the messages of Our Lady. How would you what would you like to tell people about that? Well, Louisa teaches us the importance of the priesthood. Louisa couldn't function if the priest didn't uh, give a blessing every morning. Mm -hmm. um, the priest had mass in her room at five o'clock, just personal mass for Louisa. This is how important. Mm -hmm. She had her own personal Jesus, but this is how important Jesus is for all of us. But Louisa was a special person. Mm -hmm. But uh, that, you know, the church and the sacraments um, then also two parts of Divine Will is the hours of the Passion mm -hmm. and the lessons of Our Lady. So the importance of Our Lady in our life and then meditating on the hours of the Passion to understand how much God has done for us, how much Jesus suffered for us out of love for us so that we'll be able to suffer out of love for Him. So th the hours of the Passion are a very important prayer, you know, in uh, Divine Will. And also, I remember when Archbishop Hoser came here, mm -hmm. and he said, in many churches, we're not doing the Stations of the Cross anymore. But when you come to Medjugorje, you see the Stations of the Cross on Cross Mountain in a huge way. And he said, what the church has been throwing out is what's essential. You know, so especially the hours of the Passion, mm -hmm. meditating on all, you know, Jesus' love for us, sacrificial love, unconditional love that cost him. Mm -hmm. And then that gives us the strength to sacrifice for the church, sacrifice for our families, mm -hmm. sacrifice for our neighbors. So, you know, it's how, how do we get from knowing the information to actually doing it? And that's in the will. And that's yeah. why Divine Will has really helped me. Yeah, I can see so, so much in you. And mm -hmm. you have been a big help for me on my journey here in Mexico. I'm very grateful for that. And I'm very grateful for this beautiful interview as well. Thank you, Thomas. We're all learning from Our Lady. But all these teachings are important mm -hmm. and uh, God is giving us these messages because he's on our side. He wants, Our Lady told, told us in June 2019, she, the Holy, she wants the Holy Spirit to renew the face of the earth. She wants, you know, peace is coming, but we want peace without all the suffering, you know, peace of, that we decide for that peace. And you said something very beautiful. Not that it's forced on us, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. And you also said something very beautiful that we can usher in this era of peace. If, uh, like Luisa Picaretta herself, didn't she say that if a certain qu quantity of people are living in the divine will, that the, the, this era is going to be coming? Is that true? Or? Yes, because our love and peace really attracts other people, you know, influences other people. So when we have that peace, as I say, the first time I came to Medjugorje, the war was on here, mm -hmm. but the faith of the people and their love for me really attracted me, you know, and I wanted that. So that was a challenge for me to try and learn as well in difficult situations. How can we still love? You know, when there's not much love around us, how are we going to be able to still love back? But it's possible. With God's help, it's possible. Thank you so much for that beautiful interview. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs>